Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we have been designing this home page using Figma and this is our progress as of now. We have designed the desktop, the tablet and the smartphone versions. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add the menus for the smartphone version. We will add an animation for that. So let's get started. Right now, the first thing we will do is let's create a frame for the menus. So let's click on frame and let's click over here. And we will set the width of the frame the same as the width of this smartphone frame. So let's click on this. And here we have a width of 375. So let's set the width to 375. And let's increase the height a little bit. And let's change the name of the frame to menu items. Right now let's change the background color. So let's click on this frame and let's click on this fill button. And let's select this color right here. And now let's add the menu items. So the menu items are already over here inside this tablet version. So let's double click over here and let's copy this from here and let's paste it over here. So let's press command V and here we have all the menus. So let's bring this over here and we need to bring all of these one below the other. So let's double click over here and bring it over here. Let's double click on this one and bring it over here. And in the same way, let's bring the last menu. So let's bring it over here. We need to bring it inside the menu items group. Right now let's position this correctly. So first of all, let's set the position of everything to the same, which is eight pixels. And then we will change it. And now let's increase the spacing a little bit. So let's increase the spacing to, let's try 30 pixels. And I think that looks all right. So let's bring it up a little bit. And from the left, we will have a spacing of 32 pixels. Now here on the right side, we need to have the close icon. So let's create a close icon. Let's click on this rectangle and let's create a rectangle over here and we'll set the width to 20 pixels and let's set the height to three pixels. And uh, we'll also set a border radius of three pixels. Let's set the color of this to white and let's set the rotation to 45 degrees. Now let's duplicate this, so I'll just press Command D. And for this, I'll set a rotation of negative 45 degrees. And now here we have this close icon. So let's space it correctly. And let's select both of these. And uh, let's press Command G to group it. And let's name this close icon. Now we need to have some padding for this close icon. So for that, let's create an auto layout. So let's press Shift A. And here we can see when we create an auto layout, we have both these elements separated. So let's undo this. We will flatten this first. So let's right click over here and uh, click on flatten. Now we can see this is a vector and let's also set the width to 16 pixels and also the height to 16 pixels. Right now let's add the auto layout. So let's press shift A. And uh, here we can see we have this padding of 10 pixels. Let's change it to eight pixels. Right now, let's bring this over here to the side. And now we need to do the same for this icon right here because uh, we're going to click on this icon. So we need to have some padding. So even if the user clicks somewhere over here, the icon should be pressed. So let's double click on this and let's press Shift A and let's add a padding of eight pixels. Right now, let's bring this to the center. And now here we can see from the edge, we have a gap of 40 pixels. So let's add the same gap over here for the close button and let's also check from the top. From the top we have a gap of 32 pixels. So let's set a gap of 32 pixels from the top. And from the right we will have a gap of 40 pixels. Right now we need to display these menu items when we click on this menu button. So for that we have to go to prototype and uh, we have to select this button and uh, click on this plus icon and drag it over here to this frame. And here we have this pop-up. Now we have to select some of these options from here. So we will set it as on click and uh, here instead of navigate to, let's change it to open overlay. And then here we have the option of selecting where it should be displayed. So let's select it and uh, let's select top center. And then we have the option of closing the pop-up when we click outside the pop-up. So let's turn that on. And then we have the animation. So instead of instant, let's change it to move in. And we want to move it in from the top. So let's select 
this option right here. So now we can see that it moves in from the top. And then we have some more options over here. So we have this transition curve. So let's select it. And let's select an option from here. Let's just select slow over here. And now when you click on this close button, we need to close this pop up. So let's select this. And let's click on this plus icon and let's drag it over here. And we need to change navigate to to close overlay. Right now let's close this. And now let's test it out and let's see whether it works. So we have set the starting point over here. You can drag this and add it to any frame you want. I'll just add it to this frame because we want to test it. So let's click on this button called present. Right here we have the smartphone version. Now let's click on this menu button. And here we can see that the menu is being displayed over here. And if I click on this close button, it goes back. So the overlay is working all right. So that's basically how you can add menu animation to your Figma design. And with that, we have completed designing the home page using Figma. All right, so that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the Figma file in the description. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.